Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. All right, daily chart. And, you know, we, we broke out of this zone. This is a daily, and, you know, up to the basically the upper level, just a little bit shy. And we've spent the last, call it, you know, eight, nine, going on 10 sessions, just kind of fading back into all these moving averages. You've got your daily middle band here, which had been acting as, as rough support for the last three sessions. You can see they're trying to turn it into resistance in this Globex. If they can do this all day and break the low from last week uh, down at, uh, I believe it's 44, yeah, 44 half. You had matching lows uh, last week at 44 half. If they can close below 44 half today, then I really don't see any reason why we shouldn't see this little pullback and this little move back down continue. And you'd be looking, you know, for starters at a test of the 200 day exponential moving average there at 4405. You've got a higher low here versus here, but they're not doing much with it. If you're the bulls, well, you know, you got to get back above the nine day, which you didn't do well with uh, late last, uh, late two weeks ago and early last week. Um, if you can do that, then you can climb up and try to catch some of these areas. But it continues overall to be a little bit of a heavy tape. It's a heavy tape though that's not really going anywhere. Um, you're seeing the uh, you're seeing the bears have difficulty holding downward price. They can get it down there, they can take it down, but the bounces are still there. You still see the bulls coming in and doing the things that they need to do to 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 basically just stay in the game. Like we're not even back inside this box yet. This week should be pretty important. We're going to answer a lot of questions. It's a, it's a four-day week. Uh, Friday, Good Friday. Um, the pits are closed. Globex is closed. So it's it's a true four-day week. Um, it's not one of these things where Globex is open for a little while and this, that, or the other. It's closed. Uh, hourly chart. So we've gone through these little consolidations, pullbacks, lifts. One of the interesting things that happened um, over the course of last week is just the inability to hold price above 4,500. Bulls did not look good above 4,500 at all. And the bears didn't look good down in the 4,440. So it's still just kind of this consolidation. But you can see now, you know, 4,775 is your low of this hour. They need to challenge and deal with the matching lows here. In here. Close below that today. The red line there is the 50. That will get involved. New weekly pivot is 4505.58. Not a lot of interest so far in testing that as resistance. And you see the hourly mid band since late since late Friday. You had a test here off the Europe Open. It's been you know it's been cooperative as resistance. Bears really need to hold that line. They don't want to be spending time above here and using that as a springboard to get back to daily mid band and uh, daily pivot in the 4490s. If you get above there, then I would expect a test of, of weekly pivot. But this is one of these times where I tell you, this is the bears to screw up. It really is. Everything is there. You've got, you've got a weekly pivot that is starting above price. You've got a daily mid band that is now above price. You have an hourly mid band that is acting as resistance. All you have to do is break matching lows from last week. And I think you've got to move, like I said, 200 day exponentials at 4405. I think at that point that would need a look. So we'll see how we open up today. You got volume weighted average price 64 and change or proprietary moving average sitting around 62 half. Um, those have, they, they chop between those uh, like 545 to call it 715. They're below them now. I'll be interested to see if they get them back off the open. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.